Today to start out I'm going to be using CC cream and normally what I would do is I would apply this with my fingers and blend it out that way but I've noticed that with the texture of this particular product it works a little bit better if I apply it with a brush first and then go over it with my fingers. So that's what I'm going to do today and you want to make sure that you've blended out all the edges. After that I'm going to be moving on to the eyebrows. First thing I want to do is brush through them just so that I'm sure that I'm following the natural shape and then I'm going to fill in any of the sparse areas. Once that's done, what I'm going to be doing is covering up the eyelids with some of that CC cream. This isn't going to work very well as a primer, but mainly I'm using it just to create a nice blank canvas and cover any of that redness that I naturally have around my eyes. And yes, this is going to crease later, but that's the look that I want. So once that's done, I'm going to be moving on to a highlighter. That's going to start underneath the eyebrow, and then that's going to curve around onto the cheekbones. Bring a little bit of it down the bridge of your nose, and then do exactly the same to the opposite side of your face. For the eyes I'm going to be using a red eyeshadow and yes I know this looks pink, unfortunately it's one of those colours that does look a little bit pink under certain lighting, but you can use whatever colour you want, you could use a blue, a green, but for today I'm going to be using this red which looks pink, and the whole trick with this is to layer it. So you want to apply it on the outer corner of the eye, blend a layer and then keep layering until you get a really soft beautiful gradient. And then once you've got that really nice gradient on the outer side of the eye, what you want to start doing is dragging that around onto the lower lid. And basically you don't stop until you look like you have a really bad eye infection. After that we're going to take the same colour and move on to the brows. Also with the gradient we're going to be using that red on the very outer corner of the brow and then slowly getting it to fade in the further in it goes. With whatever's left on your brush you're going to be putting this on the outer corner of the lips. You're going to blend this out with the brush and then your fingers before we're going to be moving into eyeliner. I'm just going to do a basic winged eyeliner and I'm going to deliberately make sure that there's a ton of fallout just underneath on the lower lid. With whatever's left I'm going to be putting that through the centre of the brow just to make it darker. And then just to see what I've been doing you want to start on the inner corner of the eye, work your way into the outer corner and then start drawing the line which is going to wing out. Whatever's left on the brush you're going to bring this down onto the lower lid and you're going to really layer that, bring that right into the hairs as well and then you want to make it very very messy, especially on the outer corner of the eye. Once you've applied that with a brush, afterwards what we're going to do is go over that with your fingers and make it even more messy and keep messing it up until it looks really grungy and like you've had a really bad night and you've cried your eyes out. With the same highlighter I used earlier, I'm going to be applying that on the upper lid and then also in the inner corner to create more of a tear stained look. If you don't have a highlighter like this, another thing you could use is a lip balm or even a lip gloss. It will create the same effect but it will also be a lot more messy and it can feel a little bit uncomfortable which is why I prefer a highlighter for this technique. And now we're going to mess up all the work we've already done. So you want to deliberately scrunch up your eyes and especially on the outer corner you're going to blend the life out of it until it looks even more grungy. Now we're going to be doing the guidelines. You want to line over the nose, around the cheekbones, pointing up to the corner of your brows. Then you're going to do another little curve on the inner corner of the eyes. And then we're also going to do a curve just along the jawbones. Now if you mess that up, don't worry, just remove it with a makeup blender like I did because yes, I do actually mess up sometimes. Go over it until you get the right shape and then you're going to be blending it out so that there's a nice soft edge to it. And then you want to re-outline everything. And take your time for this because it's very easy to mess up and you want to get these lines really nice and neat. Now this part might look complicated but it really isn't. What you need to do is just create a series of circles which get smaller the closer they get to the edge of that line. And then that's pretty much it. Everything else is just about doing dots on the edges, filling another circle in the middle, or if you want to make it a little bit more elaborate, another thing you can do is at the very end of that circle draw a line and then you're going to curve the edges so that you get a really lovely point to them. And you can also do the same thing in the inner corner. But underneath on the cheekbones I'm just going to do circles so as you can see I've layered them up and then I want to have a series of lines going down towards my jawline. Now over the nose we're going to switch things up a little bit and have a series of triangles. The biggest triangle is going to be in the centre and then just like what I've done with the circles you want to get them smaller and smaller the closer they get to the edge. Down the bridge of the nose I'm going to have three dots and then I'm just going to finish off the designs on the other side of my face. Now for the lips, the first thing you need to do is create a line which is going to go along the top of your upper lip and then what you need to do is you need to imagine a whole series of U shapes. So there'll be one underneath that line and then the rest will be on top of that line pointing down before we move on to a red lip liner. That's going to go in the centre of the upper lip and then down along the lip line on the lower lip before we blend that out. And then we're going to apply another line right underneath your lower lip which we're going to blend out with the brush we used for the eye makeup and keep blending that out until there's a gradient. 
After that, we're going to be moving on to a white eyeliner, and you're going to be using this just to highlight the black outlines we've done, create dots and lines. So as you can see, I've created some dots along the cheeks, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to draw the teeth, and these are just going to be a line which are going to go straight through those U shapes, and take your time with this because it's surprisingly easy to mess up. I'm also going to create some dots along the bridge of the nose and down the sides, and then highlight anything else I think needs highlighting. You may see me as a vampire. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and apply some false lashes. Obviously, these can be whatever kind you want, but I want something which is very full and dramatic today. Then I'm going to go back to highlighting. After I've lined and dotted everything that I want to, I'm going to go ahead and apply some contacts, and I'm going to be using the Dead Eye lenses from AC Lens. Once you've applied the lenses, if you want, you can go ahead and apply some eyeliner on the waterline. But other than that, you're done. Just cause I'm not bleeding Doesn't mean you're out my head Spend my nights in the fight Struggling with all my might To keep you out now Keep you out now For my sins I can't win I can't make you let me in But I'm